Once you've got your animal parts drawn on, you may want to break things up just a little bit more to make it more confusing. Like I put a line through my animal's head and I can do that in other areas if I wanted to. As for the colors, you can make this as colorful as you want or keep it as simple as you want. As long as you are using analogous colors, colors that are next door neighbors on the color wheel. And once you find the color scheme that you want to stick with, keep those pieces of chalk close to you, keep them out. So for my deer, well, it doesn't have to be the realistic colors. You can use any color you want. I think I'll do blue again. So I like my blue deer the last time. And just like I was doing before, Put a little bit of color in, kind of fade it out, and then take your lighter color, and color with that, and blend carefully with your finger, like you're coloring with your finger, keep control, don't blow the chalk, Shake it off, make your chalk mountain. And over here, just to make it more confusing, I'm going to go the opposite direction. Put in my blue, the dark blue, and then add in my light blue. Pretty much every time you hit a line, you need to switch your colors up somehow. Either change the color or change the direction that the value, the darker value, comes from. So we're trying to do gradation where it goes from dark to light inside each section. That's what makes the picture look so flat yet so cool. You have dark to light inside each little section that you made. That's why we're not making anything too super tiny. And if you want your animal to be hidden, you could stick with the same colors around it that you chose. Or if you want it to stand out, do something that's the opposite. Like I've got blues here. If I wanted to do the opposite, I could put oranges and yellows around it and it would stand out. While you're working, some of your details may get fuzzy and sort of disappear. Don't worry about that right now, because all that fuzziness will clean up when we're done filling in all these sections, because we will go over things that you need with a charcoal pencil. And now I have my whole picture colored in with chalk. And if you look, inside every section that I created with pencil, it goes dark to light. And I've got a pair of colors that are analogous, or very similar, like in the case of the purple and the pink on my page. And the fast way to do the color is you pick a pair to start with, like I started with blues, and I went through and did several sections with the dark blue and light blue and blended them with my finger. Once that was done, I picked another pair and did that color in several places. That way you're not picking chalk out of the box constantly. You just pick two, do it in several spots, put it back, and then pick another pair. That's the fast way to get it done. And you want to use control while blending. Try to stay inside your lines the best that you can. Now, if you lose some detail, we can always take a charcoal pencil and add a little bit back into it. You don't have to put this everywhere. You can just put it in a few locations that you want to stand out a little more. So I can add a little black in just a few spots, not everywhere on the page. Of course, if you did really, really want to, you could trace your lines, but I'm not sure if I would recommend that. Just use it to accent a few little areas, and then you can call it finished.